Many of the big names and newest Giants additions were missing from the team's first organized team activity open to media. To no surprise, the presumed leader of this group didn't skip out. I think it's important. It's a good opportunity to get on the field and uh, you know get together, get with coaches, and and um, you know everyone start hearing the verbiage, hear the you know system again, practice getting lined up in and out of the huddle. And OTAs are still voluntary. Right now, it's non-contact and 11 on 11 drills. Even if his newest weapons were present, Daniel Jones would still be the center of attention, and not just because today's his birthday. A large part of the Giants' success this year is on his shoulders. And, you know, I'd say with Daniel, he never shies away from a challenge. He comes in every day ready to work, and I know he's very fueled. I'll keep in terms of the personal conversations that me and him have or some of the things that we challenge him internally, uh, whether it's Jason, Jerry, myself. But, you know, this guy steps up every day to the plate, and he comes to work every day with a plan. These voluntary workouts last until early June, then it's mandatory mini camp. A bonus this year for players and coaches is seeing the NFL's recent announcement. Stadiums will have 100% capacity. Look, I can't wait to walk in that stadium and just, you know, hearing it at a deafening level. I mean, that's something I'm really looking forward to, really feeling the energy of the fans. Something we missed, it's something that I've, you know, expressed before, how much we value and really thrive on as, you know, a team going out there and, you know, playing in front of your home crowd. Fans won't have to wait until the season opener in September to see their favorite players. The NFL is also allowing fans to attend training camp in person. I missed, missed the fans a lot. Uh, last season was a little weird playing without them, uh, so I'd be happy to get them back in the stands and uh, cheering us on. Justin Walsh was reporting, Pix 11 News.